Yo, with all these different Flipper Zero firmers out there, how do you even choose? Well, I've had my Flipper for about 15 months now, and during that time, I've gone deep. Developing over 15 apps, creating almost 100 tutorials, and extensively testing the three most popular firmwares, Official, Unleashed, and Momentum. I'm Jay Blanks, and in this video, I'm breaking down all that experience to help you figure out which one is right for you, whether you're just starting out or you're already a pro. Consider this your ultimate guide. Now, before we jump into the wild world of custom firmware, we have to talk about the baseline. Every Flipper Zero ships with the official firmware. Just think of it as the factory OS on your phone. It's built by the Flipper Devices team and they focus on making it stable, safe, and easy to use. And honestly, for a lot of people, it's more than enough to get going. Now, when you first boot it up, the experience is super clean and intuitive. You get all the core functions that make the Flipper so cool, like reading basic RFID and NFC cards, a universal infrared remote for every TV and air conditioner you can find, capturing and analyzing sub gigahertz signals, and some Bluetooth stuff. Although the last release was seven months ago, the team is constantly updating it. The big 1.0 release was a huge milestone back in 2023, but they've continued to push major updates since then, adding tons of new protocols and even JavaScript support. It's a solid, reliable starting point. It rarely crashes and it gives you a safe space to learn the Flipper's core abilities without getting overwhelmed. And you can still do some seriously cool stuff with it. I spent my first day just wandering around my house, cloning my key card, saving every remote I own, and just getting a feel of how this little dolphin sees the world. But after a bit, you start to feel the limitations. The most well-known one is the sub gigahertz transmission restriction. Now, to comply with local laws in different countries, the official firmware locks you out of transmitting on certain frequencies. It's a responsible move by the Flipper team, but for security researchers and pen testers, it's a big roadblock. Customization is also pretty minimal. You can't change your Flipper's name, and while there is an official app hub, the selection is more limited than what you'll find in the custom firmware scene. And that's exactly where custom firmware comes in. It's for that moment when you hit a wall and you find yourself asking, okay, what else can this thing really do? Well, that's when you know you're ready for an upgrade. If the official firmware is a walled garden, Unleashed is the key to the gate. It's built right on top of the official firmware, and it's designed to do one thing incredibly well. Get rid of those limits while staying super stable. It's the perfect next step. And installation is a piece of cake. You just follow the instructions on their GitHub, and a few minutes later, you're looking at a familiar interface. And the feel is almost identical to the official firmware, which is a huge plus. The headlining feature of Unleashed is that it completely removes the regional sub gigahertz transmission restrictions. A whole new spectrum of frequencies is suddenly open for you to research and experiment with. For a pen tester, that feature alone is a game changer, but it's so much more. Unleash also adds support for a ton of new protocols and is updated more frequently than the official firmware. But it's the little quality of life improvements that people really enjoy. You can finally change your flipper's name. And most importantly, Unleash includes a few community apps and plugins. All of a sudden, you get access to everything from advanced RFID tools to games. In my opinion, Unleashed feels like what the Flipper was always meant to be, a powerful open-ended tool for exploration. It unleashes the hardware's full potential 
without ditching the stability and friendliness of the original. It hits the perfect balance. So who is this for? Unleashed is for the person who hits the ceiling of the official firmware and is looking for more. It's for the hobbyist who wants to explore more signals, the pen tester who needs unrestricted access for their work, or really anyone who just wants a more capable and more customized Flipper Zero without a crazy learning curve. In my opinion, it's the official second step in any Flipper journey. If Unleashed is about breaking the chains, Momentum is about strapping on a rocket. This firmware is widely seen as the true successor to the extreme firmware. It takes all the great stuff from Unleashed and then just adds layers of advanced tools and crazy customization. When you install Momentum, the difference is immediate. The whole user interface has been redesigned. You've got multiple main menu styles to choose from, a slick control center for quick access to settings, and probably the most advanced file browser for any firmware. It just feels more professional, more dense. This is a firmware built for people who love to tinker. The heart of the experience is the Momentum Settings app. This thing lets you tweak just about everything on the device without ever needing to touch the source code. You can install asset packs to change your dolphin's animations, swap out icons and fonts, change menu layouts, set up custom button shortcuts, and configure pins for external modules. But Momentum isn't just about looks, it's about raw power. Its standout feature is its suite of Bluetooth tools. It comes with a pretty powerful BLE spam tool for testing how devices react to a flood of connection requests. It's a serious pen testing tool. It also has features like Find My Flipper, which uses BLE signals to locate a lost device, and an enhanced bad KB for running payloads remotely over Bluetooth. The protocol support is expanded even further than Unleashed with integrated support for things like weather station signals, TPMS sensors, and even more advanced NFC car types. It feels like an all-in-one security research tool. But the learning curve is definitely steeper here. The sheer number of options can be a lot at first, and to really use it to its full potential, you have to be willing to get your hands dirty in the settings. But for the right person, it's a dream come true. So who's Momentum for? It's for the power user, the pen tester, and the customization fanatic. If you want the most feature-packed, cutting-edge experience, and love tweaking every single setting to make a device truly yours, Momentum was made for you. It's the firmware you graduate to when you want every tool imaginable. So what's the final call? What firmware should you actually run on your Flipper Zero? Let's break it down one last time. Well, on one end, you have the official firmware. It's stable and simple. It's the safest bet for total beginners just getting to know their device. But its limitations means you'll probably outgrow it fast if you're serious about this stuff. And in the middle, there's Unleashed. It gets rid of the biggest restrictions from the official firmware while still being very stable. It gives you a massive power up without being overwhelming. And on the far end, you have Momentum. This is the peak of performance. It has everything Unleashed offers, plus a whole extra layer of pro-level tools and customization options that are just unmatched. So here's my final recommendation. For the absolute beginner who just got their device, stick to the official firmware for a week or two. Learn the ropes, get the basics down, and see what this device can do. For the curious hobbyist and intermediate users, 
Your answer is Unleashed. It unlocks what the flipper is truly capable of without a steep learning curve. And for the hardcore pen tester or security researcher, the clear answer is Momentum. At the end of the day, the best part about the flipper is that it's open source. So you're not locked in. You can start with official, try out Unleashed for a bit, and then move to Momentum when you're ready. Now, if this guide helped you out, do me a quick favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's free and does a lot for my channel. And if you're interested in other Flipper Zero tutorials or you want to know more about the upcoming Flipper One, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. And now I want to hear from you. What firmware are you running on your Flipper? And while you're at it, tell me what your favorite feature is too. I'm Jay Blinked. Thanks for watching. Peace.